Hello, in this video I'm going to go through the process of adding tables, matrices and lists to your um, page, paginated report. There are two main ways to do so. First is right clicking the design area. You have this insert option where you can select table, matrix or list. Every option that you see here, they are also available in the insert tab. So insert tab here you have data regions and then you have table, matrix, list. The difference here is that for table and matrix, you can either just add a uh, empty table. So if you do so, you click and then you left click here in the design area. And also you can just add a plain matrix. You see that by doing like this, the difference is that a table doesn't have groupings, right? So you see that I don't have these row groups or these column groups. Uh, but at the end, both of them, it's what we call a tablex. So if I select any cell, I now have the uh, property areas. If I right click any of those uh, property areas here, we see that uh, this is actually a tablex. And this is also valid for a matrix, okay? So exactly the same options you're gonna you see here, it's uh, you're gonna see in here, all right? Okay, so this is one way, and of course, if you do so by the insert here, you're gonna get exactly the same functionality. But if you come here into insert, for table and matrix, you have the wizard, which is again, exactly the same functionality. They are just calling it a different name here for whatever reason. So if I come here to table wizard, the first thing that you can do is select the data set, or create a new data set, or let's select an existing one, and you see that uh, this form here allows you to create both a table, you see new table or new matrix here. So if you want to just create a new table, all you need to do is drag and drop the values to uh, this uh, values area here. Be careful with numerical fields, it's going to add an aggregation calculation to it, and you can remove it by uh, clicking on this uh, drop down menu, and you can either change the aggregation or just remove it. Uh, aggregation is not uh, applied anyway. Actually, they are applied, but they're going to have absolutely no effect if you are, uh, if you are not uh, adding row groups and or column groups, okay? So after you do the, that, you can add sub subtotals. Uh, of course, this is a table, a plain table, so you're not going to see subtotals here. This is the final preview and then uh, it just adds it to your design area. Now, uh, this is still a tablex, as you can see here, but you can uh, rearrange, you re resize the columns here. Uh, if you right click, if you select any cell, and if you right click, you can insert a new column. So for example, I missed a column here in the right, and then I can uh, add a new column, select what I want to display. So for uh, either by clicking on here. So if you do so, you see that it's going to add both the header and the uh, field, or you can also drag and drop to, to here, all right? Another thing is that you can directly drag and drop in the table here. So let me see process time. Let me add the setup time here, and there we go. So this is a pretty uh, simple way to add new fields to the table if you want to add a lot of fields to your uh, table, all right? Another important thing here is that if you click here, you're selecting all header fields. So you can then apply form formatting to all of those fields here. Uh, same for the uh, detail area, you can apply formatting to all of them, or you can pretty much select all fields or some fields and uh, apply the formatting that you want to, all right? So after you do that, if you run the report, you get uh, that table in the format that you design. So you see that uh, operation name has some big uh, strings. So you can pretty much increase the size here and run again. And then you see that now it's a better formatting. All right. So this is a new table, okay? If you want to add a matrix, you can do exactly the same. Either 
insert matrix or play uh, an empty matrix uh, or use the matrix wizard but you see that this is exactly the same as adding as using the table wizard but now let's uh, add the order number to the row groups and add the operation resource name it's a better one for the column groups and put here in the value uh, the sum of process time okay so doing that now because it's a it's a matrix I have groupings you can add subtotals uh, to your to your report you can decide to include or not include it's up to you I'm not even, I'm gonna remove it just to make it simpler to explain this is the final preview and there you go it adds the information uh, for you so running that now you get exactly that right every row it is a unique it's a single order and every column it is a it is a resource name and inside here you're gonna have the sum of the process time for each one of those and of course you can apply formatting uh, to your to your um, matrix so I want to increase here put this a black change the color uh, I'm not gonna go through in details here but numerical fields text field date field date and time fields if you right click you see that you can you have text box properties and here you can pretty much change the formatting of uh, this field here it's the default so no formatting is applied but this is a number field of course so you can select how many dec uh, decimal uh, places you want how negative numbers are displayed I'm gonna put here two decimals and I'm gonna uh, align the, that field to the right and that's what you get right okay we went through table we went through a matrix there are a lot more to talk about them, but I'm going to have videos dedicated to how to properly format uh, a table, uh, number fields, and so on. Uh, the last data region object here, it's called list. And let me just add a simple table, and then we'll add as well a list. So when you add a table, if you right click here, you see that you have text box properties. In, in the list, we have actually a rectangle, which is this one over here, right? So let me add a rectangle. Coming here to these properties, I will have exactly the same properties as if I right click here. You see? So this is the difference between a table, a matrix, and uh, a list. The content cell. The detail section for list, it is a rectangle. And the detail section, the content cell for tables and matrix, it is a text box. So why is this interesting? It's because for rectangles, you can dra drag and drop fields to here in different places, right? It doesn't need to be one after the other, so you can have uh, something like this. I'm going to move this here. Operation name, let me increase this. So if I run this now, you have the order number. The, uh, is it the same field? Yeah, the operation. Oh, sorry, operation name in both of them. So let me change that to. Uh, this one to resource name. And there you go. Order number, resource name, operation name. Order number, resource name, operation name. So you can pretty much play around with it. So you can add a, uh, a grouping here to make it easier to see. But this is a different, the main difference between a, a, a table, a matrix, and a list. But underlying, it is still a tablex. Okay? So to, to prove you that, what I can do, I can add a new table. I will delete column, I will delete 
the header. Let me increase the size here to put it roughly the same size of this. Let me and again, this is a text box, but if you pick up a rectangle here and click on this uh, table uh, text box, now you've got a rectangle with the same options. And you can pretty much uh, drag and drop uh, this here. Uh, resource name, operation name in the bottom. Right, so very similar. If you run it now, you get exactly the same. Again, this is underlying technology, Pablix. One property here or there, it's different. But uh, if you learn really well one, you are learning uh, all of them at the same time. Okay, and that's it for this video. Thank you.